victim's Emily Hammond, 48. She edits technical manuals, divorced, no kids, comes home around 11, no sign of forced entry. So it looks like she knew the killer, let him in. Comes home from where? Speed dating. So she picks him up at speed dating, then brings him home. That's not right, is it? No. Women don't go to speed dating to find sex. They go to find a relationship. Although, check them out, yeah? And the ex-husband. Lives in Bristol. Check them out, yeah? Being done as we speak. There's nothing to suggest she's into S&M. There's no fetish gear in the wardrobe. There's nothing on a browsing history. No, our boy brought this all with him. Do you reckon? There's a very, sp it's a very specific look. The wig, the makeup. It's very Susie and the Susie and the Banshees kind of style. The who and the what? Eighties post punk. You won't get it. Oh, got post punk. Right. There's no way this is her wig. Not this disgusting old thing. No shoes, but you can see strap marks. So she was wearing shoes when he strangled her. But where are the shoes? She didn't know this man. She was an object to him, not a person. A canvas for him to do what he wanted. Hmm. What's up? I've got another thing. You're kidding, what other thing? Animal cruelty. Listen, I need you to brief Benny. Tell him to go through all the cold cases. Look for anything germane to the killing of Emily Hammond. Shoe theft, strangulation, burglary. Like wigs and masks? Don't rule anything out based on the absence, but the mask and the wig, they seem like they're more they seem like they're an attempt to recreate something. More part of the staging than the fetish. How far back are we going? Say nineteen seventy nine. Just make sure this is done right, okay? And then meet me at the Hawksmoor estate. Hello? Why? What's it about? Do I have any choice? Alright, alright, keep your mane on, I'll be there.